So good news, the FDA just approved the first generic GLP-1 for weight loss. Well, sort of. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so you'll know whether or not this is going to affect your coverage. So here's the deal, Teva, their new version of the generic drug Saxenda, also known as Loraglutide, is now officially FDA approved for adults and teens ages 12 through 17 for the treatment of obesity. So in theory, this is good news because it should open up some access and lower cost, but there's a couple things we need to consider. Generic drugs should have the same active ingredients and in theory should be lower cost, but don't celebrate quite yet. So as a healthcare provider, I see this all the time. Once a generic gets approved by the FDA, there's a huge lag in manufacturing from the time it can actually get created and then distributed. So a lot of times it's at least six months up to a year. So I would expect to see at least that long before it's on the shelves and certainly that long before your insurance considers paying for it. The price is still pretty high. So if you look at the brand name Saxenda, it was about $1,300 a month if you were just paying cash. It looks like Diva's version of generic is gonna come out at about $1,100. So still very unobtainable for most people. The other downfall is that loraglutide is a daily injection. So unlike semaglutide or terzepatide, which are weekly injections, this one's a little bit more cumbersome because you have to give yourself a shot every day. So here's why this might eventually shift into a good thing. Since the drug has gone generic now, insurance providers may eventually start covering it because it's generic, whereas they would not cover it in the past because it was branded. Some people may start getting better access now that it's generics because some people's plans will cover generics but not branded. So also some people have to pay less if it's a generic tier than it is a branded tier. So if you work on a tier system for insurance, that could be good for you. But for the moment, access is pretty patchy, expensive, and honestly pretty slow. So let me know down in the comments section. If you do get access to generic loraglutide and you have to take it daily instead of weekly, would that be something you would consider switching to? For now, if you're having trouble accessing these medications and you need access, then there are some resources over here in my bio that you can check out. And as always, follow me for all of the GLP-1 tips and resources.